Hello honorable members of the clan, so let's go to the knockout dang high court and I did mention something about the DNA situation that uh, Gininda was trying to explain a way that to me it, me it places them in the crime scene. I think that's where he was going with it. Why? Because uh, the, um, the DNA expert talked about how we are interlinked one way or the other by DNA and the DNA when he tested it. it I think it's supposed to be 16 over 16 or something of that nature. I can't remember exactly the mathematics or the science that he talked about. However, he did rule out the five people that are accused of deleting Senzo Meiwa and said it could not have been them because the DNA result is inconclusive. I think Ininda is just piggy banking or piggy bagging on Rata Mukhwatling's own interpretation. And he thought, oh, if the judge then he is talking this way, let me also add some little spice and try and persuade him to think that he is actually correct so that he comes to a conclusion that indeed the DNA belonged to the five accused. But which one though? Because hmm? there's what one had. Now, the thing is that is quite interesting that was said by the DNA expert was that us black people, there's a tendency of us linked with each other by blood or something like that. I'm not going to say exactly how he said it. So basically what I think he was saying is one way or the other, black people are related to each other because of our forebears who probably met and then children, da 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 da. And I'm going to give an example with the Tumagutes. Tumagutes, they come from Shange. And uh, I think the, uh, the Mdimas as well come from Shang, etc. and so on. Now, somewhere, somehow, along the way, one of the Shanges does not get married, the type of situation, right? Or the lady doesn't marry, but she has a child out of wedlock. And then I have a child um, who's a Tumagute. And then they have children and they have children. These children, somewhere in the future, they meet and then they produce. And then, of course, they don't know that they're actually related with each other. Simply because the unmarried woman, when she gave birth, the child took their maiden name or something of that nature. And the child got married. You, you, you know what I'm trying to say here? So that, I think, what is the DNA expert was trying to say. So now, if he is going to take down Gininda, is going to take that and make it the gospel truth that... Yeah, because uh, they have some kind of relation and even if uh, the result is 0.1%, to me, it is them. Yeah, it could be you as well. Let's get your DNA against the DNA of these five accused. Let's see if you're not going to pop there. And then how do we know once you pop there, you are not the killer? How would we know that? So that's how I felt about what he was trying to do when he tried to hijack the um the duties of the court by trying to jump in and analyze where he's not supposed to analyze that it was not his duty to analyze anything now let's also talk about something else that he mentioned during the um his lead with uh, baloy about the stationing of the accused right so ndanzi and Marco went in. In the car or by the car, you had accused number five. And then you had accused number three and four stationed outside of the Kumalo house. One by the gate and one by the wall next to the, the living room to make sure that nobody goes in or out, right? And then you have Marco, which now is accused number three, as well as Ndanzi, who happens to be accused number two. They walk into, into the house. Marco then demands Imali Pansi Nama cell phones, which I don't think that's what happened. It, it, didn't, it, it actually didn't happen, as far as I'm concerned. Did not happen. And then here's the interesting part. The interesting part about Ndanzi taking the cell phone is because, remember he said that he looked into the cell phone records and everybody that was in the house were accounted for at the clinic where Senzo Mayor was declared passed on. And then uh, Kelly's, one of his fo her phones was pinging elsewhere in Mount Lulika Street. So I think now he's, come to, he's trying to come with a but somewhere in uh, Muzi uh, Sibiya's, uh, uh, what do you call this, so-called confession, 
he says we took nothing we did not take anything and now he needs to justify why now he thought there was intruders because of uh, uh, Kelly's cell phone pinging in Maluleka Street. Now, what happened after Maluleka Street is what I want to know. When it pinged, okay, you got it. Then what happened thereafter? Where did he leave to? He never said that. But now the problem that I am having about the stationing, which I think himself is like, oh, well, We'll go ahead with this lie anyway, Pinocchio. And then he says that, yeah, they were stationed the way he said it in the uh, understand. But we, you and I, already know that Ulongwe, when the intruders came, he gently got up, pushed accused number uh, three, walked out through the kitchen door. Guess who he's supposed to meet outside the kitchen door? Yeah, you guessed it right, Musa Sibia. And as he proceeds to the gate, Guess who is supposed to meet there? Yeah, you guessed it. Accused number four. And then accused number five is by his white, his silver, or gray uh, polo. And no, he's not running. He's walking. He gets in the red polo and he drives at 15 kilometers per No, he doesn't uh, drive. He rolls down the road. The sense of emergency there. He doesn't call the police. He doesn't scream for help uh, uh, to the neighbors. He does none of that. And uh, this is a legitimate trial of the five people that stand accused of killing Senzo Meiwa. Okay, fine. Then we have Mapiri. While everybody is gathered without calling the police or the ambulance, and Mapiri decides to clean the crime scene. Make it make sense, guys. Just, just make this make sense, all of it. But let's also not forget Pinky's own testimony about the movement of accused number one, two, three, four, and five. And how all five of them are not even anywhere near well, uh, Kumalo House. Nowhere near. But no, Gininda is saying, I am convinced that they were there. How are you convinced when the evidence is saying otherwise is the part that I don't get? How? Now you want to bring in the DNA and manipulate the record? Thank you, Mnisi. Thank you so much, Advocate Mnisi, for taking back the power of the court, even though the presiding officer, well, kind of like makes sense why he did not even make a ruling after Ms. Shololo challenged that no, it must be on record to show that we did object. He never, he didn't make a ruling. All he said that, well, I'm a judge. It's my job to analyze and come to a conclusion. Okay, cool. Respected. But what about the witness becoming an expert in your presiding of the matter? Is what I want to know. He never made a ruling there. But yeah, it's on record. That's a nice part about it. So I don't know, guys. This is the things that one is thinking about. And I'm still feeling a little bit down. And I think my brain is also scrambled a little bit because I'm a bit disturbed about something else as well. I, I don't know, guys. I don't know what are your thoughts. Please put them in the comment section. Let's talk about it. I know my comment section right now is not allowing me to respond to your comments. It's not that I don't read them, I read them and I laugh along with some of the things that you say. Very, very hilarious. Right now, everybody's like, he's just a police officer, this one. Shalolo. He's just a policeman. And the part where he actually hijacked, this is Guinea, he hijacked the defense and call them his colleagues. Has he graduated from law school? And you guys are not giving him a break about that part. Um, I've been laughing while I'm reading your comments. Hilarious. Hilarious. This guy, he's an imposter. He, he doesn't even have an LLB degree. Yet. You're still writing examination, by the way. And he's talking about Bob Shololo being his colleagues. <laughs> no, you are just a police officer. Yeah, that's it. It ends then, nonsense. Ah. 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 
Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Let's go. let's end this one right here and let me go nurse my uh feelings right now because I am seriously not in a good space today. But yeah, it is what it is, and uh, I'll see you guys. But before you leave, please make sure to like the video. I highly appreciate you guys that are liking the video, but we are not even making anywhere near 500 likes, let alone that thousand that we talked about before. But yeah. I will leave it in your hands. Thank you all so much for your support and the super thanks. I highly appreciate them as well. And lastly, please subscribe. If you like this family here, we got two IQs. We rub them together and spark our own opinions. And if you have your own opinion, let us know about it, but be respectful because if you're not, you are going to win yourself being hidden from the channel. Yeah, I'll hide you from the channel. You won't even know that you are hidden from the channel. Anyways, guys, let's see each other in my next video. Goodbye.